Hello students, welcome back to my channel. So in our earlier weed science classes, we have covered uh, weeds, what is the definition of weed, what are the beneficial and harmful effects of weeds, then uh, crop weed competition, allelopathy, uh, and uh, weed classification. So if, if you have not covered that section, then you can just go and uh, cover. So uh, today we are going to discuss about concepts and principles of weed management. What are the concepts and what are the principles to be followed during weed management practice or suggesting any uh, weed management tactics for farmers or uh, for self. Okay, so weed science, what do you understand by basically, what do you understand by weed science? Weed science basically deals with weed biology, means what are the systems happening inside the weed like weed physiology, weed morphology, weed dissemination, weed reproduction, uh, all these things, then weed ecology, what the <clears throat> relationship between weeds and its surrounding crop as well as environment that is basically weed ecology then weed distribution what is the species distribution what is the density of the weed that is weed distribution then demography that means population of the weed so basically weed science comprises of weed biology ecology distribution demography along with their antagonistic association how they are antagon having antagonistic association with other uh, crops other plants through competition that is the indirect effect because we they they use they use the resource base that is available for the crop and that's why they compete with other crops and allelopathy allelopathy means that is the direct inhibitor effect uh, by releasing certain allochemicals on other crop so this is the antagonistic association between uh, weed and crop so uh, to how we can control or manage this antagonistic association okay so that is basically weed science so what are the management options that may be preventive method that may be physical method that may be cultural biological herbicide uh, herbicidal approach or integrated weed management which combine judiciously all these approaches so what is basically concept of weed control basically uh, during earlier stage during earlier era of agriculture what people used to do they uh, initially at of when agriculture started around uh, 7500 to 10000 bc they uh, usually uh, removed weed by hand then gradually they used different primitive hand tool during 6000 bc then animal run implement they used during 1000 bc then chemical weed control generally started in the 90s that is 1880s to 1940s then <clears throat> by inorganic salts and acids then the development of you know that uh, improved animal drawn implement like hoe, plow, weeder during 1920 AD. Then biological weed control, it was conceptualized during 1930 AD. Then chemical uh, weed control using organic herbicides. Initially, remember, uh, people used to uh, like 1880s, 90s, uh, 1920. Uh, before 1940s, actually, uh, people used to control weeds by inorganic chemicals. But after the uh, synthesis, after the herbicidal property discovered of herbicide uh, like 2,4-D and MCPA, people started using organic herbicide Okay, during uh, 1945. Then allopathy and its uh, by, by using allopathy how uh, people started with uh, managing weeds that is started during 1960s. Then concept of integrated weed management that came during 1970s. Okay, So basically what what is concept of weed control? So there are basically four concepts of weed control like uh, prevention, then control, eradication and management. What do you understand by prevention? Generally in medical science we call prevention is better than cure. Why is that so? Because if we have prevent the disease or if we have prevent the pathogen or insects uh, to infest us then why we need to control that? We, we, once that disease is dominating in our body then once it uh, it, it it multiply in our body then uh, that microbes then this is this is very difficult to control like right you will feel weaker your your, uh, your resistance power will go down so so prevention is always better than cure you should take care of uh, yourself uh, to prevent the entry of different pathogens you know in your body like that in in case of crop weed competition also we need to prevent the weed to come to our field right so <coughs> So in weed science, basically in medical science, we, we say prevention is better than cure. But in weed science, we say prevention is better than intervention because we intervene with the crop plant through competition or allelopathy. 
so it means prevention is better better than intervention means how we can prevent the weed seed in our crop field uh, we <clears throat> we should exhaust the weed seed bank what is weed seed bank weed seed bank means whatever weeds suppose this is our field so at different in this is soil profile suppose these are the different soil profile so weed seeds not only present in this surface layer only weed seed is distributed throughout the soil profile when we till the soil the surface surface soil will go down uh, then uh, along with that the surface weed seeds also go down so they will they will be uh, they will store in the soil for longer period and they will have certain dormancy then when they will move off when they will after certain uh, some years when they will move off um, through tillage activity then they will germinate so <coughs> so to control the weeds to prevent the weeds in our field we must exhaust that weed seed from weed seed bank and which is which is almost not possible because a different soil profile you cannot uh, exhaust that weed seed by applying a different uh, technique of herb, uh, like like suppose herbicide or any manual method you cannot control that so again uh, how we can exhaust the weed by uh, do not permitting the introduction of new weed in that area so how you can do that by using clean seeds by using certified seed which are uh, devoid of different weed seeds right then uh, by following seed quarantine you you should not pre uh, permit uh, the different new weed seeds in your country or in your locality by using different seed quarantine laws then use of certified seed as i was discussing <coughs> then cleaning the tillage implement along with the tillage implement they if 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 they are cultivating in somewhere else and uh, your field is not having any weed problem if that tillage implement from that field which is heavily infested with weeds if it is coming for cultivation to your field then that will uh, that will disseminate the weeds so you must clean that tillage implement use of well decomposed manure because when cattle they consume different weeds okay cattle when they consume different weeds through their digestion system actually uh, most of the weeds they uh, get uh, out as such okay they are not digested they are not fully uh, exhausted or or metabolized inside the animal body so they will again germinate so if we decompose that manure or fym before applying the field properly then that will get destroyed right so you have to uh, use the well decomposed organic manure then cleaning the bonds bonds are generally bonds and irrigation channels they are generally of uh, a uh, field with weeds okay you can observe in your field also bonds and irrigation channel they are completely filled with weeds so you need to uh, you need to clean that bonds and uh, and the irrigation channel Be because uh, if if there is enough weed in the bond they they are from there also seeds can fall inside your field or uh, seeds can be disseminated to your field so that thing you need to take care of then stale seed bed technique you have to follow the stale seed bed technique what is stale seed bed technique then suppose uh, your field you do not know how how much weeds are there in your field so when you cultivate the soil after cultivation you just irrigate the field after irrigation weeds are generally responsive to irrigation so after irrigation some weed seeds you are not even uh, you, you have not sown the crop seed in your field so after before sowing the seed you just irrigate the field then you just wait some weed seeds they will germinate you just control that weed seed by applying a different herbicide or or by apply, or by manually you can uh, or mechanically you can control that uh, that weeds so do this process for two to three times so there will be exhaustion of weed seed not complete exhaustion but uh, somehow it will exhaust the weed seed bank uh, for that uh, particular crop period okay so after two to three times you just sow your seed so this is basically the concept of stale seed bed there if you are using chemical to control those weeds after the germination of the weeds then that is called chemical stale seed bed and if you are uh, controlling those weeds by mechanically uh, then that is called mechanical stale seed bed prevention is always better than uh, cure or intervention uh, but uh, com it is very complex okay as i, I as i was uh, discussing that there is different soil profile and which in which different at different layer seeds uh, of weeds are present so it is very difficult to control it is difficult than control okay prevention is always difficult than control in case of our weed seed 
ecosystem <coughs> weed crop ecosystem then control once it is being introduced once the weeds being introduced in the field what do you need to do you need to control that weed okay so it is the basically the practice after weed problem arises in the field or from past crop history either it is being introduced or uh, that seed is remained in the uh, in the field itself from the previous crop and you need to control that one okay so a uh, user can know which weed will be prevalent in the crop area okay who can know the farmer can know only which weed is dominated in that area then control is easier to practice than prevention and er eradication okay control is always easier to practice so if if i know that what disease you are infested with so i can recommend you certain medicine okay if we if i don't know then how can i recommend okay we cannot see the microgen uh, the microorganism or pathogen okay so it is very difficult to uh, prevent from that okay we need we can do san different sanitary measures to prevent the entry of the ma pathogen or microbe but we cannot uh, see or uh, we cannot see that okay this is the disease is coming and we need to uh, prevent ourselves to, for the exposure right so this is uh, uh, the weed infestation that is control of the weed is easier practice than the prevention and eradication then control can be achieved with short term planning goal okay we can control that weed with short term planning goal whereas prevention always require long term and complex planning okay degree of weed control it depends on what methods we are following to control the weed what tools we are following to weed control then severity of weed infestation how severe the weed infestation is in your field then production system which production system you are dealing with then what is the capital invested if you are not spending much how you can uh, control your weed okay suppose you have limited money limited capital then you can you will skip the weeding so there will be more crop loss right so these are the factors uh, for the effectiveness of weed control then what is management prevention we see then control we discussed then what is management this is another principle uh, another concept of weed, uh, weed control so management means that is the maintain or manage of weed population below threshold level what is this threshold level so if suppose we are growing crop in in this field okay then there is weed problem arises right then after up to a certain point we can tolerate that weed up to a certain point we can tolerate that weed okay up to a certain suppose we are infested with cold disease okay up to a certain point if we are not medicating if we are not consuming any medicine then we can tolerate that cold okay after certain period it will vanish right so if the weed density is much less then up to uh, up to a certain point up to a certain density we can we we should not manage the weed okay so that will not be economical right then after certain point it is more prevalent that means it will cause more damage so that particular point where we need to control the weed that is known as threshold so weed management always uh, follow this threshold limit okay why it is uh, done so the principle is let all pests be present but under certain control okay so we are maintaining basically the diversity here weeds are always contributing to the biodiversity of our ecosystem right so we need to control them at uh, that level when it reaches the threshold level when it can cause significant damage to the crop right so that should be our basic principle of weed control weed management the approach is basically control plus that means management is more wider and complex and it aims to maintain the biodiversity as i was discussing then eradication that is the fourth uh, concept of weed control right eradication is complete removal of weeds from the field and seed bank which is almost not possible <coughs> both prevention and er eradication are nearly impossible in crop or ecosystem as i was telling you possible option of weed eradication are, are use of non selective herbicide then soil sterilization some herbicides they act as soil sterilization that means they will destroy everything inside the soil uh, every uh, biological system so that thing uh, we need to we need to apply the soil sterilizers as well as non selective herbicides which are active in the soil uh, profile 
to control or to eradicate the weeds but that is also a uh, costly practice as well as uh, uh, sometimes uh, it, it also affects the uh, next crop whatever we are sowing right and this is on economical as well as, as i was discuss discussing and disturbing the biodiversity so our biodiversity will be disturbed next what is the principle of weed control okay in the next class we will see what is the principle of weed control this these are the concepts of weed control okay